All right, guys, I just wanted to show you how I've lost 30 pounds in six months. Uh... All right, guys, I just wanted to show you how I've lost 30 pounds in six months. Um, this is basically my shopping right here. And I'll go through real quick how I cook this stuff and I do my meal prep for the week. Usually it lasts me actually two weeks. Um, I'm not the greatest at uh, sticking to everything. I still ate some donuts and definitely candy bars and cookies and pizza and all that stuff I normally would have ate but I try to just restrict that to the weekends and during the week I try to be pretty hardcore on my eating um, I have not worked out at all uh, in the six months and lost 30 pounds um, I was 222 pounds and I'm just dipping down now to 192 so 222 to 192. I wish I would have taken a picture of the scale, um, but I was never planning on showing anybody this stuff. And this was just kind of my own personal uh, hunt for a way to eat better and live better. So basically for snacks, I eat some sort of dark chocolate with sea salt. I don't normally get with the almonds, but that's all that they had. I ate some sort of nutrition bars, usually once a day. I drink a lot of water and I drink unsweet uh, like green tea any kind of brand as long as it has no sugar and it's basically nothing there's nothing in it it's just tea um, I also eat almonds not a lot but you know maybe a half a cup a day so basically those are the, the, the chocolate and the almonds are kind of my go-to snack. I also snack on carrots, which is basically no calories, and sometimes sweet pickles, sweet jerkins. Um, and basically I'll go through what I do with this stuff here. I slice up the chicken and I slice up the pork and um, I do the cream of potato, a couple cans of that in a baking dish and a couple cans of sweet peas. Just pour it all in there together, bake it for like an hour. And I also do a combo of the uh, diced tomatoes and some black beans with the diced chicken and cook that for an hour or two in a, in a roasting pan. And then I uh, separate it all out into these different containers. I don't weigh it or anything like that. I know some people get really hardcore on weighing out all their meal preps and all that stuff. I just kind of eyeball it. I'm really not that hardcore about it. But it's really helped me out. I'm an on-the-go guy. I'm always going and doing stuff. And I don't have time to be, you know, worrying about what I'm going to eat all the time. And it's really helped me out to just to go, oh, I know what I'm going to eat for lunch. And I know what I'm going to eat for dinner. Um, and sometimes I do also eat, um, if I'm on the go and I don't have any food, and I'm like, oh, crap. I do eat the power lunch at Taco Bell, which is... Uh, like a chicken power lunch. There's no tortilla or anything. It's just basically a platter with chicken and beans and rice. And and some of you are probably like, oh, that's disgusting. But, you know, when you're hungry and you've got any, no other choice and you're at work or you're at the shop or whatever, um, you got to do what you got to do. So basically, I'll uh, whip up this stuff here and kind of show you a little more of how I do it. All right, so I like to rinse off my chicken. But actually meat kind of grosses me out so I rinse it off real good and then I'm going to just go ahead and dice it up cut off the little gross parts and dice it up into a bunch of little pieces alright so it's all diced up and the gross stuff's over there I'm going to throw it into a pan and show you what I do I normally don't do pork, uh, pork chops, these are uh, 
what they call these bone, yeah, boneless pork chops. But I thought I would break it up a little bit. The fat kind of grosses me out, so I kind of trim it off. Not going too crazy. Just cut it up into bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna do maybe one more. Leave a couple for me to maybe grill out this weekend or something. I suppose I could leave this fat on here, but I don't know. So, basically got chicken cubed up. That was uh, four chicken breasts, I think. And that was uh, six pork chops. Probably could do a few more, but I want to leave four for uh, dinner this weekend. So that's all I'm going to do. So now I will show you how I just pour in the stuff. Super easy. All right, so I don't have a uh, tripod so I just have my phone kind of propped up on something here um, I, these black beans I drain off some of the liquid All right, so drain that off I just pour a whole can big can of those beans on there And then I take a can of diced tomatoes. And I pour those on there. And it's probably going to be a little bit over full. Yep, this one's going to make a mess. That one's going to make a mess, but that's all right. I'll put some tin foil down in the oven. All right, and then the other one, actually both of these other ones, I'm going to take a can of this uh, cream of potato. You could use cream of uh, celery, cream of broccoli, I suppose, cream of mushroom. I like the little potatoes in there. I'm sure this is all full of all kinds of sodium and it's 90 calories. You can see it on there. I started buying these bigger cans, just a little easier, and it's a little teeny bit cheaper. Pour that in there. Then I take a can of sweet peas. You know, you have to kind of do what you like, obviously. You know, if you hate sweet peas. Definitely drain off all of the water. So I drained off all of the liquid out of there. Pour that in there. By the way, I washed my hands really good after dealing with that meat. 
I don't want to get chicken meat all over. And I kind of mix this up with the chicken. A little over full on my pan here. Mix that up a little bit. I'm going to be doing the same thing with the pork. I actually think it'll be really good with the pork. And it ends up being kind of like a soup casserole. I, I don't know what you would call it, but it's uh, it's easy for me to eat. I know that. I can sit there and just actually look forward to eating this when I... I like this one a little bit better than the, the bean and tomato one. I feel like the bean and tomato one's probably healthier for me. Can of these beans. Drain the water. Up it in. Mix it up. I forgot to set the oven, so I'm going to go convection roast. Uh, let's say 375. Start. Get that going. And I roast this stuff for an hour. Alright, so that's it with the prep. Now this one I put a lid on. I have a lid. And these other two I just cover with some tin foil. I'm going to put a big piece on the shelf just in case it spills. It'll spill onto the tin foil and not all over my oven. All right, well, see you in about an hour. Okay, so another thing I wanted to point out was that my leftover meat, this is the pork chops and the chicken, I put in some containers or wrap them up and they go right in the freezer. Even though I might cook that chicken this weekend, today's Tuesday, you know, so that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, maybe I get around to cooking. Most likely I'm gonna be out and about. It's Biketoberfest this weekend, so I'm probably gonna be over in Daytona, eating who knows what over there, so. And then, so I only got three work days left, so I made up three bags of these, uh, carrots and some almonds, so one bag for each day. And that helps me with any sort of cravings and stuff. If you have something to eat, then you're not running down to the vending machine. You're not stopping in the convenience store and grabbing a candy bar or hitting Dunkin' Donuts in the morning for donuts or whatever. If you've got stuff to eat that you've prepared in your mind, you've said, all right, this is what I'm eating today. These are my snacks and that's it. And just get yourself in that mentality of, you know, eating what you prepared and sticking to it. And if you eat a donut, or you eat a cookie, or you eat some candy bars, so what? The next day, don't. The next day, do better. You always have another day. Alright, so stuff is out of the oven. It's been a little over an hour. Nice and baked. I'm going to let this cool for let go. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll let this cool for about 10 minutes and then uh, I'll get all my little uh, things going here. And we'll load these babies up. This tin foil under this pan worked out well. There was some some drippage on here which saved me some cleanup time in the oven. That's always nice.
All right, so while I'm letting that cool, I'm going to go ahead and dish out some frozen veggies. So I basically just take frozen veggies and put a little bit in there. I'm going to do a little mix. Can't fit a whole lot of broccoli in these trays. Now, if you absolutely hate veggies, then I'm not really sure what your uh, alternative would be. Um, Pretty much fill up the whole tray. This part of the tray. You really can't eat, I don't think you can eat too many vegetables. No matter how much weight you're trying to lose. Even though there is corn in here that's a carb, I suppose. But I'm always kind of like, well, whatever. I'm eating a vegetable, so who's going to complain? So this is just some mixed veggies. They don't put broccoli in this mixed veggie stuff, so I kind of mix it up. You can see how quick this goes. And I'm basically making, this will be over a week's worth of meals for me. Because don't, you don't eat this for every meal, obviously. But it's my fill-in meal. So when, I, when I'm not out with my friends or you know, out on a date or something, um, you know, you've got something to eat, you don't have to think about it. You pop it in the microwave, two or three minutes in the microwave, and you got at least something decent to eat. That really has made a big difference in my life. I mean, losing 30 pounds, I didn't even think I would be able to lose 30 pounds, but it's just kind of... Alright, I'm going to switch spoons here. I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit. It's still pretty hot. Normally I would let it cool a little bit more, but I don't think it really matters. I'm just gonna start dishing this in. So that's basically it, like two scoops is for me a meal. You know that's a that's a lunch, that's that's a dinner. So if I'll get one more out of this. Well, I probably could get one more. I think I'll go for one more here. This is the chicken one. The chicken kind of globs together, so kind of break it up a little bit. I don't know about you, but I think that looks pretty good. You know, the potato gives you a little carb. And really, you know, kind of looking at this, I could go for a whole nother can of beans. I think I might actually throw, well, I guess I won't. I could throw another can of beans in there, but. I'd love to hear people's comments on uh, you know what your thoughts are and how you do your meal prep. Don't really have enough to do another one here, so I think I'm just gonna add this. Please. If you do make bigger ones, you might want to mark those for like dinners. 
and a little lighter portions for lunch. Uh, another thing I should mention that I I eat all of my food. Now this is probably actually pretty important. I eat everything between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. pretty much during the week, uh, unless again I'm out with my friends or something. So the whole idea of uh, intermittent fasting is basically what that is. Um, it it's eliminated my breakfast except for basically on weekends. So during the week when I'm getting up and going to work, I just don't eat breakfast anymore. Um, and it's solved a lot of things because I used to agonize over, oh man, what am I going to eat today for breakfast? And if I don't have to worry about it, because I've changed my diet, I've changed the way that I eat, it's been great because now I don't have to worry about it. I just get up, I go to work. You know, every once in a while, uh, if I'm really hungry, I'll, I'll grab a nutrition bar. I'll try to eat that, um, you know, or I will eat that before 11. But for the most part, I um, I think that looks pretty good. You got your your chicken, black beans, the tomato. Um, it's kind of like a soup toward the end when you're eating it. I'm out of my big containers. So I'm going to have to use these guys. That's alright. These will be like lunch portions. That's a good lunch portion for me. So I pretty much just eat, drink coffee in the morning. I'll uh, drink some coffee, really avoid any sort of um, anything, just drink coffee. And I, I, don't, I drink black coffee, uh, black with just sometimes a little, you know, some sugar, but not a lot, not, not like I used to. I'll put a little bit in there just to take some of that bitterness out of it. One more here. You can see there all that junk underneath that pan. I'm glad I did that. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'll let this stuff cool a little bit, and oh, I forgot that tray there. Um, I'll let this cool, and then I'll put the lids on it. And about 50% um, I'll freeze, and the other half I'll leave out. All right, there it is. I got 13 meals. I got my snacks for the next three work days. So I'm basically going to take uh, six of these, keep them in the fridge, and the rest I'm going to freeze because I know I'm pretty much not going to eat any of this uh, on Saturday. Um, I got a bunch of stuff I'm doing at the shop Saturday, and then I know I'm going to Daytona for Biketoberfest, and I'm going uh, autocross racing on Sunday, so I'm not going to have time to be like, you know, uh, eating this food. I'm going to be eating out. I'm going to be eating, you know, a sandwich somewhere, you know, whatever. So I'm going to freeze the rest and then Sunday night I'll probably pull out two or four uh, for me to use Monday, Tuesday, and I'll have to do this again probably next Tuesday or Wednesday. I try to do my meal prep on Sundays, but sometimes it doesn't work. It just makes it easier to do it on Sundays. 
and then sometimes it actually lasts me two weeks. It just depends on my work schedule and uh, what I've been doing. So, so hopefully uh, you enjoyed this. Um, this was just kind of an impromptu video here. I wasn't really planning on videoing um, uh, what I'm doing here, but I do do this every week or two, and I thought I'd share. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments or let me know how you're losing weight, um, I definitely feel better. I look better. My clothes fit better. Um, it's just a good feeling. And I know that you know I'm going to eat a few things I shouldn't eat over the weekend, and I make up for it uh, during the week. Peace out, guys. Have a good one.